Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you the complete CRUD operation inserting, updating, deleting and selecting the records from a table using stored procedure on MySQL remote database PHP MyAdmin. I'm logging to my GoDaddy database account. I just logged into my PHP MyAdmin database. I'm expanding the user database. For this example, I'm choosing two students table. Let's browse the table. And I have three records in this table, two students. Now my aim is, I want to create the total CRUD operation using stored procedure, inserting, updating, deleting, and display the records. Let's create a new stored procedure for this table. To create a stored procedure, go to database, MySQL DB, click on it. Click rodents, add rodent. The first stored procedure I am creating to display the records from this two students table. Let's expand this two students table and the columns what we have. Crowd display is the stored procedure name and I am not adding any parameters for this stored procedure. I am dropping this parameter. In the definition, the SQL query is select start from two students. Definer is nothing but a username of our database, which is 4321. I am creating the stored procedure. Let's go. And here our first stored procedure thread underscore display has been created and notice the procedure folder has been added to my database I'm expanding that thing the thread underscore display let's execute this stored procedure execute and these are the records from the two students table student ID and first name so now I'm creating the second stored procedure to insert the records into this two students table using stored procedure. For that, let's create a new stored procedure. Click add routine. The routine, the stored procedure name is cron underscore insert. Here I need to add the parameters. In this table, student ID is the auto generate column. So I don't require to mention in this parameter. But I need to mention the first name. Parameter is first name. The data type is varchar. The length I'm giving 100. The definition here is a SQL query, which is insert into two students first name values the variable is a first name let's copy this and paste here the definer my user ID go and that's and the second procedure has been created crud underscore insert and notice here the crud underscore insert is newly created is added to the procedures folder let's execute the first name I'm giving my name Charan go your SQL query has been executed successfully let's check in the table the inserted record is added to my two students table or not execute notice here the first name the newly record challenge has been added to my two students table let's create a new stored procedure add routine procedure name is card underscore update and the type is procedure the parameters i'm choosing the direction in out the column names of student id student id which is integer type I'm giving the length 10 I'm adding another parameter for the first name and the direction in and out column name is first name 
the data type is wildcard the length is 100 update the table name is two students set first name is equals to the parameter name is the first name where student id is equals to this parameter name the define app is sharon4321 my user id here i would like to specify one important point uh, when you are updating a record particularly on remote database php my admin you need to specify the table name dot like to students dot student ID if you don't specify the table name here see what will happen the updated stored procedure has been created when I try to update the record and the student ID is 5 I want to update from Charan to Ben so if I click OK, what will happen? All the student records will be changed to Ben. I click Go. Here the update stored procedure is executed successfully. We'll check the results of the two students table. Execute. All the students name will be changed to Ben. The reason I have told have to specify the table name. Go to edit in here the table name is two students dot student id click go i'm executing update now i'm updating the student id one to jack when i click go The stored procedure has been executed successfully. Let's check the results in the table. Execute. See here, Jack. Now the last stored procedure I'm creating to delete the record from the table to students. Add written. Crowd. Underscore. Delete. using in and out the data type and the name is student ID the data type is integer only the length is 10 the definition the select the, de the SQL statement is delete from two students where where the table name Two students dot student id is equals to this parameter name my user id go now i am executing this stored procedure execute i want to delete the student id file go and here the stored procedure executed successfully let's browse the table execute and notice here the student id 5 has been deleted from this table to students and here also one important point you have to specify when you are dealing with update and deleting the records suppose if i am not specifying the table name just I have specified only the column names go when you try to execute the record any record now we have one two three student IDs suppose the second student ID I want to delete click go it's showing one row affected by the last statement inside the procedure but when you browse a table all the records will be deleted 
the reason we have not specified the table name yeah, see here the mysql return empty results zero rows all the records has been deleted from this two students table let's browse from here also see so once again i'm specifying make sure when you are updating and deleting the records mention the table name that's it if you like this video please leave your valuable comment share this video and please subscribe my channel catch you on my upcoming videos